happy beings. Forever awesome in the house again uh, with Janneke and... Hi, Drew. Welcome, everybody. Greetings to everyone. We had at this week, we had another like crazy adventure. Quite an experience. Yes, quite an experience happening. And it's really, really, yeah, a remarkable yeah to to have that going on like it was really like what is this sound like how do you do this and like what do you do and it's like i i want to when like we had the light and the electricity like the light uh, electricity cut off so there's yeah. also no light and right. no wi-fi so no communications and no lectures for 24 hours and like normally it's like half an hour, an hour or something. But where you're from and where I'm from, yeah. it's like maybe stretching five hours before something kicks on and it returns. But on. Or like a half an hour or an hour. It's like that doesn't happen ever. But it's not only because we're Mexico, but it's also in other countries. It's possible. And there's already lots and lots of people also in the truth com com community. There are a lot of like on in that community, they are like prepping. But also from the other side, they have also lots of um, messages of blackouts and stuff coming. So this was also for me another reminder, like because I felt like I was at least let's be prepared of like like any like whatever could happen. I felt like I was the least prepared ever in my life for something like this. I'm just gonna add something real quick. <laughs> it's a good thing we have power banks. Like, you know, we can charge your phone and stuff like that. We have, like, a few between us. We have a few power banks that we can use. And we, had, we did have lights that still had batteries in them. And all those things came in, uh, you know, in handy. We'll talk more about that. I'll let you keep going. And then we'll talk more about what we had to do for, like, the power and how to, how to we try to reserve it for a while. But it's, like, really crazy because if in the moment you'd have no clue how long it will take, so you were like, oh, what do we know? And uh, I hope it comes on. And we went, like, especially the day after, like during the day, we went out for like uh, around here. And there's like two shops also didn't have electricity. And then the shop further away had electricity. So that's why we knew, um, we knew that, uh, like, yeah, it's only our like small uh, area. Yeah, it's not the world. No, no, it's not like, oh, three days of darkness or the 10 yeah. days started. So we got out, we, <laughs> we, took a, we took a walk. We just about spoke to everyone we came in contact with. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. Everybody had a different uh, answer. Different so answer. Uh, it comes back uh, to 97. Someone says, oh, tomorrow. And they don't know. And, like, oh, it's also here in different places, but it was not. Like, everybody said something else. So we had no idea what it was. But people said, like, there was something with the cables and they tried to fix it. So, but it's like really interesting because like a lot of times I was totally ready. I was like off grid. I had solar panels, electricity. So I had no problem with like, there was always like electricity. But if like things would happen, like like a, like a lockdown or whatever, I had like, I always like had enough food. I was always like from the past. Well, also where are you located like, to be able to do this? Because it depends on where you are. Like say for instance, where it's complex. I think we don't store so much and you know last so long. But if you were off grid or somewhere in nature, it, it'll be a bit easier for you to uh, handle such a case as power being out. Yeah, but also in Holland where I lived, I also had like soups and cans mm -hmm. just in case beforehand. Like what? Yeah, I had already a long time beforehand. I had like soups and cans just in case. Huh? Like they say you have like for two weeks, but I'm like oh, ten days. Like people say two weeks, people say ten days. Or some people say two months, some day people say three weeks, three days. But yeah, you do what you can mm -hmm. and what's possible. Especially in the beginning of the lockdown, I could I remember like I went quickly to the shop and I went, I I bought so much for the next day weeks. So I was good for the next weeks. And I know my family also in the beginning of the lockdown, they went to the shops and they bought a lot of things. Yeah, I'm gonna tell everybody out there real quick, yeah. just just cut in that um, if you were to, to prepare, just get as much as you can of what you can, whether it's your water, your food, um, your power banks for charging, um, your lights and your batteries. Um, not everybody is in position, um, whether they don't have the location to, to store these items, like in house or whatever, or whatever you have. And also a lot of people don't have, you know, the option to be able to have the currency to purchase all this stuff. 
So all you can do is the best you can, really. Yeah, just and, and what, what is so we want to give some like some basics like for everybody to be more aware of it. Uh, we we got this reminder for ourselves. So we feel like we want to share that with others. Like what, at least what you can do is have some basic foods prepared. Like make sure you have okay. water. Also make sure that you have water. Um, make sure that you have lights for the evening. Like you can have like, uh, uh, you had a, like a lights on your power bank. Yeah, my power bank came with a light. You can hold yeah. these off of Amazon. And it came really handy because we use it for like the night shower before we went to sleep. So we wanted to hang this. Um, power bank with the light off in the bathroom and had so much so much light was so awful that we were able to continue on with our um you know our chores basically yeah so our nightly, nightly chores so it's also good to have power banks and we have power banks because we lived off grid so we mm -hmm. we didn't even have electricity on the place where we we actually lived so we needed to charge a lot of times our electric every day we had to charge like our lights and the power and then bring them up to like the location where we stayed at because there was no power and then it was funny because like it's it was a daily practice yeah so we were like very used to that uh, but luckily like uh, only after the lights came back on we were like oh we only have also have those lights on top of our hats so for next time because when we were walking outside the uh, street lights were out as well so also when you want to go walking outside in the evening, you can those those lights on top of your head. I'll give an example. Head. We call them headlamps. These things you can put like right on your head. Um, some of these come with batteries. You put batteries in them. You wear these on your head. Um, also, some have USB ports. Mm -hmm. It's very bright. Let me say, I didn't mean to blast your face like that, but like yeah, yeah. These things are really really come in handy. Um, sorry about that. I was <laughs> I see the lights. I see the lights. I see the lights. Sorry about that. Do we have so, the power banks? It's all good. No, yeah. You put them somewhere, right? No, here. Meet it here. This is right. the power yeah. bank. And this one. So we have like three power this banks. This one you get off Amazon. And this one is also even with with sun uh, charger. So that's really good. You can charge with this. You can solar charge it. It's got a built in lights. Yeah, we have to. It's really powerful. Ones. Um, I don't know why I did it, but I just do some reflective tape on it. So when you're holding a card at nighttime, it comes in your brain, it'll, it'll reflect back to you. Yeah. It's got a building compass. doesn't really work, <laughs> but it's just, this is there. <laughs> so, but hey, it's going to be prepared, you know? Yeah. So this is also something. And even though your phone maybe doesn't work, but your, like your normal phone, it still works. Like if you don't have internet. Right, charging ports right here. You put your phone in there. Your computer. Yeah. So, um, so when you have like... For me, why I wanted to have a phone is also because I have music on the phone. So what is also nice that you still, like the first evening, we were like, ah, at least we have like, it's really nice to have music. He had the first uh, day you had the uh, computer on and the second day we, we had to phone my phone. It's really nice to have music. Yeah, it's nice. So make sure that you have like some music. I have like, several lists that I downloaded that I always have also when I don't have internet. Um, and that is something really nice to have also, uh, like the food is important, the water is important, uh, charging certain things, have lights. And what you can also do for lights, you can have like candles. So you can also buy some candles because then you also don't have to use electricity for the, for the lights that you have. Mm -hmm. So that's also a good idea. We had that in Spain. We bought some candles just in case. Just be yeah. careful where you place your candles because it is a fire. It is, it is lit. It is lit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just yeah. be careful where you place your candles. Um, I think people know that. It's good. It's, good it's to nice to tell. Yeah. You don't know. Um, keep it away from the, you know, flammable objects like papers yeah. and stuff like that. I think that. people know. Not everybody knows. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not insulting anybody out there. Because, like, I'd be one of the ones that would be, like, let's oh, yeah, you wish fun, so I'm really talking about myself. So, that, that's nice. Thank you. So, uh, that is something that you can do. But also, on the phone, it's also nice to have your phone charge because you can have yeah, your normal internet. So, but I, we didn't, my, just my normal internet just stopped because I've prepaid. So, the moment, the, the second day, we're, like, we found the power charger and we went to the and shop to get uh, charge my phone like the moment I was I was able to send my my friends a message because of like 
uh, the, that moment, uh, it all came back home. So, so that was cool. But yeah. uh, it's also good to have that for the normal. That uh, you can still uh, as a mass and still uh, have internet, even if there's no electricity. Uh, even though they say that might not be internet, but really, what I also want to give some tips and ideas, what to do when you don't have anything uh, to do in that moment. I'm just gonna do a quick one right now. Yeah. As far as like the power banks, we had these items with us in our phones, and we plug them in every now and then to charge them, but we didn't like check on the status of our power banks, so we didn't know how much power we had. So it's it's a good um, daily practice, I believe. To always like at least keep them charged somewhat constantly, you know what I mean? I know I feel like I'm you know telling to waste all this power and use power a lot, but keep them charged up. And then when you do use them, if you do need them during a late power outage, don't try not to use too much reserve as much as you can and just use it as you need it. Because you don't know how long this outage can last for. Because like I said, we didn't use it with the computer, but then after that night, we're thinking it's gonna explode the next day, then the computer ain't gonna go back on because it ran out and you had your phone, but it still ran out because I could have reserved it, but I did not. Wasn't thinking really ahead like I, I should, but now that we know this, we can do that. Yeah, now we've got to make sure that our so phones sure. and my power banks are always charged. Yeah. What we, what you can do when you don't have electricity, and what you do do in your house. What you like for me, for instance, uh, is go like I did yoga, I did meditation, I did journaling. I was writing down a lot of ideas. We went walking. Several times we slept a bit more. <laughs> they, well, you had to I had my cards out, but we didn't play cards. I had my cards out, but we didn't play. We but we couldn't because electricity was out here. I couldn't check go to the pool where I normally all would go because uh, the pool area was closed off because it's also because of the electricity. So, so we couldn't sit here. Um, so yeah, so that's why we were like a bit limited in what we could do. But uh, I think we quite uh, managed well with our time. Yeah, we did. I found I found myself considering uh, more comfort food. Uh, For me personally, I found myself like wanting and needing comfort food uh, because I wasn't used to having my devices not working and be you know out of power. And that's another uh, thing we're gonna have to come to terms with. Also, it's like some someday these things are gonna be working, but not to work. We're not gonna have access to them. I'm going to find other ways, like you just said, to, to occupy yourself, like cards or you know, journaling, drawing, writing, anything, being creative, taking a walk every now and then. Yeah, so I was, that was a good one, just walking outside and stuff and talking with everybody. You were like, hey, what's happening here? And do you know something? And we had like nice conversations with the neighbors as well, because it's like, oh, I, I work online. And she was like, yeah, me too. And I, so it's just like quite an ordeal. And I was like, I was happy that that day I didn't have any meetings. I was like really happy that day I didn't have meetings. So uh, yeah, and we had it, we had it even a couple of days later, we had it again. When we woke up, there was again no Wi-Fi and electricity. And I was like, Ooh. and then uh, it, it came back like in a half an hour. It was not a uh, long gone. But there's also, what you also have to think about when you don't have electricity, uh, the things in your freezer. Uh, oh yeah, your food. Goes yeah, the food goes bad. Like everybody here is like, oh yeah, everything in my freezer. But yeah, the only thing I had in the freezer was like mostly like fruits, like fruit, fruit. bananas went brown. So we we had to toss them again away. They were they were so brown because I thought, oh, we'll do it tomorrow, but it was too late. So we don't usually have to deal with that because no. we, where we're from, we have power outages. They don't last long, so the freezer mm -hmm. will still maintain our food. But here, when we pass the time to where everything, if you were to like, a lot of people here that live in these complexes, they consume lots of meat. And imagine all that, that loss that they had. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Problem, no. We don't have a loss like that because we don't have all this. You know, put that. It was just some bananas for it us. For us. But it's also remind yourself about that. Like the fridge was still cold the day after. Um, but if you have things in the fridge, in the freezer and, and something like this happens, yeah, start eating those things first. <laughs> so <laughs> that they are still good. Um, at least do the best like, you can. If it's if you if you can eat it uncooked, you can go for it. But I mean, it's 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 a loss for those people that are storing like those meat products and they really want to get to them, but they can't. And there's no power to even cook them anyway. So yeah. they're gonna take a loss because here where we are, the power when it does go out, as we know now, it can be out for quite quite a while. 
Yeah, but some people also cook on gas. That is differently, of course, where you cook on. So be be mindful what what you need and what you can do. And uh, so be also think ahead of the things that you want to buy, but you might not be able to cook them. So buy also things that you can't cook that you can preserve for the long run. And uh, yeah, make the best out of it. But yeah, you try with your candidates. Yeah. Candidates and food are good. Um, have the water stored up. Mm. Uh, we had we had enough. Our, there was a shop up the street was open. We could just go and get the water. And yeah, so we we had no problem. But we water. were. I was like very happy that we had a big uh, three like big cans of water at least. So yeah. even if and we had lots of food in the house. So I was like I was like this was my first thing. I was like, do we have food? Do we have water? I was like, okay, for the next three days we have enough, so we'll be fine. Um, but just. You, yeah, we don't do we don't share this to uh, make people afraid of this. No, there's no fear mongering here. This is no. just um, you know an awareness and a bit of preparedness. Yeah. for you know things like this that are happening. Yeah, because being in this country, like you know anything could go down as far as like your power and, and not coming back on. Yeah, you know? but also no, it can happen here, but it can happen everywhere. So that's why we want to share that with you. Yeah, I think we have all the things covered. No, almost. Um, oh yeah. Anybody, just real quick, anybody that's like uh, renting, renting to, you know, to live, and you're paying any kind of uh, rent online, uh, you might have access to your bank because the Wi-Fi is not there and electric. So this can make you um, late on your payments. And depending on who you're paying it towards, what situation you'll be if you end up in. But most of the time, these situations are understandable. And things usually work out pretty well. Yeah, and you can let people know, and especially when you have like internet as well, you can let if if things like that happen and you can't use it, yeah, you can let people know, and mostly people are like understanding of that. Um, but think indeed about everything what you need to organize and do, and uh, uh, because yes, some people, um, yeah, we couldn't do anything because we also didn't have the Wi-Fi, but most people do have internet on their phone, so. Uh, so at least oh, people, yeah. yeah, so people can uh, organize that. Oh, yeah, I forgot something too. Yeah. Um, also, um, if there was a long-term outage, the items will run out of power eventually. And then you'll have to find out how to adapt until there's a difference or, or some type of change. Because if you go long-term, your food, your water, everything will run. Uh, your power can run. And just try to adapt the best way possible. And know that you can uh, survive a long time without eating or much eating much less. And you can even f like check what is the edible plants in your neighborhood. If just you in case. Them, if you, yeah, if you like that and you can really check that. You can check that online what kind of edible, like in Holland, like you have um, dandelion and you have nettle and you have vehibri. I can't remember the name of that. It's like something like Yeah, something but you have so many different things. Um, different Where you're from, though, yeah. Where yeah. From, um, they actually like come through these complexes and they uproot and get rid of these things and they spray them down because they know the medicinal benefits of them. And so where I'm from, they don't want people to have these medicinal benefits. So it's very fortunate where you are, they can do that. So if you have access to this, you know, have at it, but pick up these herbs, um, get supplements. If you do not have access to this stuff, just ahead of time, just store in your cabinets and use it for later. Yeah, and it's also good to have herbs and medicines anyway, also at hand if you need a, if you never know what happens. But it's also good to have that in the in the house, just in case. It's always good. Yeah. So uh yeah. That's it, I guess, from us. But yeah, we would just like we were so open. <laughs> like the moment that happened, it was like, oh. It's the first time I'm mean, the least. Uh, I normally I had lots of food and there was off grid and all sorts of things. And it was really funny. Like, I mean, we had one I did, the first time here. What? We had one the first time. It was short when we first came here. Oh, yeah. The first, yeah. The, the second day we were here, it started immediately, but everybody knew it would come up at uh, three or four that day uh, and they told us. So it was very shortly. But it was like the, the second day when we woke up here, we immediately had already know. We kept thinking it was like no, a dry run, like some kind of dry run, like a practice, like test to see what people would do and how they would react if they would not have power here. 
And they were just working on something. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there's different reasons why it can happen. But know that this this is a possibility. Know you can uh, organize some things for yourself, and uh, to to make it's like just in case it happens uh, that you're prepared. Yeah. And this is only one downfall about you know being dependent on the system, but that's the way it's set up for all of us. Right? There's fortunate ones out there that off grid have their solars and they want their water source. Yeah, yeah, that's why it's like, oh, good. Yeah, we, want to go nice. off, we want to go off grid. I said also, like, when we go off grid, we don't have these problems because we will always have electricity. Uh, so we don't have this. Like, uh, but it's also yeah. funny. Uh, uh, we have the water also from the like from the ground as well. Like, and I and we were already you know, off grid several times, and we didn't have any. Uh, we we know we don't have that, but it was also. We were also, we had a renewed uh, gratitude for uh, that we could still uh, flush the toilet. And we still had water from the tap and we could still shower. For the moment. <laughs> Although um, I did notice power being out, water pressure was not the same as it was. I think it was like, it was it was reduced a bit. Yeah, yeah, but so, at least we could still do it. But we can still use it. It kind of trickled out. You know, the water trickled out when you was in the shower, but like... There is a difference of not having electricity, and I think it does assist with the pressure of the water in some kind of way. Yeah, but I know uh, it does, in fact. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so but we were very very grateful that we still uh, used the shower and used the toilet mm -hmm. and used Trust the water. <laughs> it was very hot and but sweating. You know, what I mean, we were just sweating. So that shower is a big necessity. Yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, this is for for you to be more aware of what can happen and how can you prepare. And uh, thank you for listening and wishing you all the best. We give thanks, everybody. Love, light, peace, power, and happiness. Lots of love from us. See you all next time. Next video. Bye.